Praise the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the name of God. This is the day that the Lord has made. You are now with rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless the name of the Lord for blessing us with another day. There's many people that slept tonight and they wake up this morning. It's not by my power, it's not by your power. It's by the grace of the Lord Almighty that woke us up to see another blessing for day. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. I would like us to have a word of prayer. In Jesus' name. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of kings, the Lord of Lord, the ancients of the Father. You are worthy, you are mighty, you are excellent, you are wonderful. Thank you, mighty God, for your bringing us again to sit at your feet and learn from you, Father God, also that he might follow us that he great at him. And that there is no other God is acute, there is no other God to compare to you and the most high God. And in any way that sin against you, I plead for your mercy, Father, wash me. And I cleanse me, purify me, your precious blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, wash each and every moment of all. Cleanse us, O Lord, for your glory, Father, mighty God, I ask in Jesus' name. And I come and have your will, and anyone just for Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and be with you, and by with your Holy Spirit of God, help us to understand on the word of the Lord that God is giving us this time and this moment for your glory in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit of God, we love you, we bless you, we worship you, Father, Almighty God, you are, we bless your name, Jesus' name. Father, I cover my spirit and body with the blood of Jesus Christ, I cover each and every one of us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lay the blood of Jesus Christ in the air, on the land, on the sea, on that the so we pray the blood of Jesus Christ on them in Jesus' name. And Almighty God, come and have your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree you increase in me in Jesus' name. Come and let your way. And I let your way be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The topic, our topic today, the soldier, the soldier of the Lord. As a Christian, you and I, as a Christian, we are soldiers of the Lord. Soldiers of the Lord. You know that you know soldiers. They are, when they are on duty, they are, they are really, re when they are on duty, they can't sleep. They can't sleep on their duty. They can't afford, no, they can't afford to, to, to fall asleep on their duty, on their guide. No way. Their eyes are open, wide open. Wide open, like hold their, hold their guns there, standing there watching. Watching because they don't know the time the enemy will come. Because they have to be athletes. They have to be cautious. Cautious. So you and I, we are soldiers of the Lord. So we are soldiers of the Lord. We have to watch. We have to watch. As Father God said, Lord Jesus Christ said, you and I, we should watch and pray. So it's very important as a Christian, as a soldier of the Lord, soldiers of the Lord, we must be on guide. It's your duty, it's my duty to be on guide, to watch, watch over our salvation, watch over our family. We pray, watching and praying with supplication. You know, the soldiers, when they are watching, when they are on guide, when they are on duty, they are on duty, their eyes wide open. I would like us to go to the word of God. Let us go to the word of God. Matthew chapter 26, verse 40 to 41. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 26, verse 40 to 41. I read in Jesus' name. And he commented unto the, the disciples, and they find the, and they find them asleep. And they said unto them, Peter. What? Won't ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. There's, the spirit indeed is willing, but the, the flesh is weak. The spirit indeed 
Lord Jesus Christ said. And the, the flesh, the, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. As we, the children of God, as we have to be on guard, we have to be awake. You and I, we have to be awake as the soldier, as we being a soldier, be a guide. We cannot afford to fall asleep. We cannot afford to fall asleep because we're in the end time. We are in the end time. The enemy is raging more than before. It's because of that you and I, we must open our eyes. We must shine our eyes with prayer. We must shine our eye, watch over, beloved. We Christians, as the soldiers of the Lord, we open our eyes. It is my prayer, God will give us the grace to open our eyes in prayer, our spiritual eyes to be open in the name of Jesus Christ. We, as the children of God, we must pray in the spirit because father lord jesus christ said in his word he said the day that worship the lord they that worship god must worship him in the spirit and in the truth so when you are worship the lord you are praying you pray in the spirit that means your spirit connect to god you don't have to when you are praying you pray in the spirit means your spirit your spirit man focus on your maker no distraction no no, no, no distraction, no, no other thing coming in your mind to connect to your almighty God. Because he is spirit, you have to worship in his spirit. So when you pray, pray in your spirit that your spirit will connect with your almighty God. We must connect when we are praying, we must connect to our father God. The soldier prayers for the success and the well-being of the whole army. The soldier's prayer. You see, when you are praying, not just only you now not just only you you are watching over no now you are praying as a soldier when the soldiers are praying as you are now we are soldiers of the lord as we are praying we are praying for the success for the success and the well-being of our family for the success and the well-being of the church of, of the church the body of christ we we pray together we pray that even though you are in your closet, somebody out there, one of your sisters out there, one of your brothers out there are in the closet. In the spirit, we are connected together, praying for the success of our brethren, praying for the success of our family. We, don't, we, we, we cannot afford to sleep because you and I, we are, in the, we are in the battle. We are in the battlefield. In the battlefield, spiritual realm, we are in the battlefield. It's what is happening in the spiritual realm. Before you know, it's, it's, we are seeing it in physical realm. Battle is going on. Even though you don't see, you think there is no, no, no battle. It's the same, same, like, same like you and I. We can say, okay, for example, you say, the television is not on. That means it's not, it, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that you didn't turn on the television. There's no program going on in, uh, behind. There's program going on. If you own it, you will see that there's program on it. But if you don't own it, you think that the television is on, but even though the television is off, but there's something going on behind. Well, as soon as you switch it, off, switch it off and switch it on, then it's on. Same like we. We cannot just see the earth like this. See the earth like this. We think there is no battle going on. There is battle going on, spiritual battle going on, warfare going on 24 hours. So that means it, the enemy of our soul, the enemy of your soul, the enemy of our soul, he never sleep. The Satan, the devil, he never sleep. He's awake, he's alert. That means you and I, we have to be awake, we have to be alert, we have to be cautious. There's, something, there's things going on in the spiritual realm. We have to watch and pray and ask Almighty God for him to let his will be done in our lives. Because as soon you don't watch, as soon you don't pray, the enemy will dictate to you. The enemy will tell you what to do. Even though you think you are the one that decides doing what you are doing, no, it's the enemy deciding for you. Because you don't pray. You are say soldiers of the Lord, you are sleeping. So the enemy is the one that dictates to you. When you see something happening, maybe you made it, making decision, you think you are making decision. No, later you say, ah, why did I make this? It was the enemy. 
It was the enemy. He never sleeps. So you and I, we must be awake in the spirit. Our spirit man must be awake. We have to watch. You see, Father Lord Jesus Christ was telling the, the uh, apostle, apostle, apostle Peter and the, and the, and the, and the, and the two sons of uh, Zebedee Zeb 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 was telling them, you cannot, play, you cannot pray with me for an hour. That means, Father Lord Jesus Christ was asking them, it, one hour, is it too much for you? Just to pray, pray with me. You see, prayer is very, very important. Very, very important as a Christian, as a body of Christ. Prayer is very important. As our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, He is the Lord. He is God. He depend, He He, he depend on the the disciples to follow Him to help Him to intercede. It is said because He He is God. He will not ask for prayer. He will not ask the disciple, please pray with me. No. He asked them, well, why can't you just, if you can just pray with me, pray with me for an, an hour. It's because uh, you and I, as a body of Christ, when you are in the group, if you have anything that you know, this thing is, is out of your hand, bring it to your, to the, to the, to your brethren. Don't keep, it, uh, don't keep it secret just only for you. I know if you are praying, if you are praying, individual prayer is, is effective as well. But a group prayer as a, as, a, as a body of Christ, as a soldiers, we join hands together. We pray together. Look at Lord Jesus Christ. He is Lord. But he still, he still depends for the, he still, he, he still want, he wants the disciples to join him in prayer. Anything that you know that this is this trouble, this trouble that cannot handle this matter alone in prayer. Bring it to your brethren. It's because of that we are body of Christ. Bring it to your brethren that can help you. That help you to intercede. Join hand together in prayer. Join hand together so that you will have victory over that, over that situation. Bring it to them. If Lord Jesus Christ can ask his disciple, can you not you cannot pray with me an hour? So you and I can do so. When you say that something is going on. You cannot, you cannot, you know, this thing is out of hand. Let me bring it to my brethren. And God will give them that grace to help you, to join, to join, to join you in prayer and intercede. And God will give you victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God on higher. Glory be to God on higher. Glory be to God. The battle, the battle that is going on is all together. The battle that is going on is all together in the spiritual realm. It's all, to, it's all together, not, not just a personal matter. Not just only for you, not just only for you, this battle is going on. No, it's, it's, well, it's, a, it's just worldwide. As soon as you are a child of God, as soon as you have decided, as soon as you have decided to leave the camp of the Satan, 100% you are enemy of enemy, you are enemy of Satan. As soon as you have decided, you have made up your mind, Satan, you and you and your everything that, that belongs to you and renounce you. Please know that you are in the battle. Now you enter the battlefield. It's because of that this one they're telling you once safe after safe is lie. They are deceiving you. Because when you start, you say, Jesus, I made you as my Lord, my Savior. Battle started. You will not be asleep. Wake up. Wake up. It's not person. All the battle is for all the Christians that belong to Jesus, that accept Jesus Christ as their Lord, their Savior. If something coming in your life, you see something that happened. Be, be, beloved, believe me. It's going on in somebody out there, a Christian like you as well. Because enemy is fighting us, two and eight, every day. But we thank God. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Let us Continue. Continue as a soldier of the Christians. We are the soldiers of the Lord. We are the soldiers of the Lord. It's to, to pray all season. Soldiers of the Lord. Christians, we are soldiers of the Lord. We have to pray all season. All season and under all circumstances. All seasons. Under all circumstances, you and I must pray. Let us not neg neglect a prayer. 
It's very, it's very, it's very important for you and I. Because as soon you are interceding, as soon you are praying, maybe you are praying in your in your closest. You are just praying. Maybe you are praying for yourself. Father can, Father God can just turn down your prayer to be intercession for somebody that in the in the Asia dying there. You never know. You can be praying. You're praying in your in your in your city room. God will use that your prayer. Say somebody that want to drown in the maybe in the in the river in the sea. You never know. Because we are prayers, we are praying, we are praying for the for the success of the body of Christ. You you might think you are just praying for yourself now, but God is taking that prayer. I thank God for the Holy Spirit taking that prayer to the person that needs exactly that time that calling upon God to help. If we, from that your prayer, that that person will be saved. You will not know. It's because of that you and I. The time when we meet each other in heaven, you will see the reward. God, the reward Lord Jesus Christ has for you. You start asking, Father, what did I do that make you to, to give me all these things, all these things that you, you, you have blessed me with? And you start reminding one day you were praying in your city or your bedroom. You don't know somebody was dying, dying in another country, was dying in another place. I use this your word prayer to save that person. Because our God, Lord Jesus Christ, is the God of reward. Anything that you do for him, he will reward you. Let us continue as a, as a soldiers of the Lord, as a children, as a, as, a, as a Christian soldiers of the Lord. We should not sleep. We should not sleep. We must, uh, we must uh, be uh, constantly, we must be constantly on duty. We must be constantly on duty in prayer. We must, we must, because our enemy, because our enemy, he is for, he is facing the enemy, enemy because of our enemy who never sleeps. Our enemy, he never sleeps. He never tires because he hates you. He hates me because he knew he, he knew that he cannot go to heaven anymore. But where he has been where god almighty god had rejected him and threw, it, threw him out of the heaven now you and i we want to go there now you and i we want to go and enjoy the things that he he enjoyed before he saw before he knew everything he knew everything what is in the heaven now he there is no time there is no chance for him to be there anymore it's because of that i hate you he hate me not because we did something wrong no, because he's avenging, revenge, sorry, he's a revenge for, for Father God, because Father God had thrown him out. And we now, we are the children of God, we will come there to be enjoyed everything that he was enjoying before. Because of that one, he wants to hurt God. Because of that, he's fighting us for us not, not to obey God, not to love God as we're supposed to, as a child of God. God loves us. God wants us upon all. He wants God to reject human being. He wants God to reject us as, a, as his children. But God, I thank God for the God of mercy. That he sent his precious son to come and rescue me and you. To come and redeem me and you. All the, all the plans of the enemy for me and you not to see God for, from. Because when the Adam and Eve fell from the garden, all his plan was uh, now. I think he wants to bring them to, to, to his kid. And we know how now they disobey, how he was going to bring them to the but God knows his plan. I thank God for God that he has already planned. He said, No, don't worry. I will do what I will do. My children must come to me. And he did it. Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty God, left his throne and come to this head. And he came and he suffered and he died for me. And he rose up for me, and he rose up for you. And he's living, he went to heaven, and he's waiting for you and I. And he's preparing, not just, he's there, he's just working for you, and I prepare everything, waiting for you, waiting for me. It's because of that, the enemy, he never sleeps. He just, his eyes is wide open, wide open. We, the children of God, we have to open our eyes as well. We have to open our eyes in prayer. We have to shine our eyes in prayer. The enemy who is, a, who is ever prepared, prepared to take advantage 
He's prepared at any time. At any time, he's prepared to take an, uh, an, adv an advantage from, from you, from me. Any look hole, small hole, he's just looking to take an advantage. Any little hole is entering. Any look hole, because of that, we, we should not give a chance to the enemy. We should not let him take an advantage of us. Let us close everything, every, every, every hole, every door that the enemy will try to enter our, our life. Let us try to close it with prayer. Let us try to close that door. Because the enemy here for just to destroy. We must stand up. We must stand up and pray. We must stand up and pray. That, um, that means that you and I must not sleep. You and I must not sleep spiritually. I'm talking about spiritually. To be on guide. To be on guide. Pray. You have to watch out. You have to watch out for the for, for you, for your for the for our brethren out there. Pray for them as well. Many of them are going to passing through persecution. Just because of uh, they accept Jesus Christ as their Lord, their Savior. Their family, but some of them, their family is the one that persecuted them. Some of them maybe co-workers, colleagues. Some of them, it can be their children. Some of them can be their wives. It can be their, 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 their husbands. Their body of Christ. Many of them, they are passing through many things. As soon as we are praying, we are watching, let's watch for them as well. Let us put them in prayer because God knows them. He knows where they are in the secret place. As soon as you are praying, intercede for them. God will hear you. God will answer them. God will be with them. God will be with them where they are for his own glory in Jesus' name. The soldier, as a soldier of the Lord, the soldier cannot adhere. The soldier cannot dare to be asleep at his post. A good security, a good security man. Maybe some do sleep. I don't know. But if you if you happen to, for example, you happen you happen to to have a a a compound, a big house compound, you want security. Then you will take security. Now, as soon you took that security. Your security is in, is in your, in your the, the standing post there. Instead of into to so start watching, then he starts sleeping. What, what are you going to do with that your security? You will call that security a good security, or you call that security a basket of security. Because if that security is not awake, thief will come. If that thief comes, the security will not know the time thief will pack everything out. Before the security, <laughs> everything is stolen. So what is he going to tell his master? Ah, master, I'm sorry, I was sleeping. I was sleeping is what he's going to tell my master. No, it's because of that the security, you see them, they start, they, 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 they are sitting, if they sit, too, if they sit there, they, they sit a little bit, they, stand, they, they, will, they, will, they will stand up, they will stand up. Immediately, they start walking around, checking around, go to the backyard, go to the front yard, they start walking around the corner, you know? To, to, to be secure, to watch out. That's it's the same like you and I, to watch out, walking around, be cautious. Where, 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 what is, where, am, I do, where am I doing something wrong? What, is, what did I do wrong? No, watch out like the security, security guys. On their post, they watch out. When they stand in the one place, they are, they are tired, they get a little bit, they walk around, they walk around and see what is going on around they cannot just uh, they cannot just uh, afford to stay stand there or sit stand nodding their head they start sleeping no they have to be at work they have to you and i we have to be at work we have to open our eyes we have to pray we have to pray beloved for you for you to, to watch for you to watch it means ascent of sleep for you to watch, it's, it means ascent of sleep, spiritual sleep, sleeping. Ascent. You are sleeping, but your spirit, your spirit man is awake. Your spirit man is walking. Your spirit man is interceding. 
May the Lord help you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. It is a command. It is a command for you and I to keep awake. To be attentive. We have to be attentive. Because as I said already, the enemy is not sleeping. We are in the battlefield. He's not sleeping. He's not sleeping. To be vigilant, full away, to be vigilant is so full. Be, be vigilant is so full, fully, fully. You and I must fully be awake. Please, beloved. You and I must be attentive. Being action. Action in prayer, watching. You and I must be cautious. Let us be cautious. You must, you must not have been a careless. I must not be careless not to pray. Not be careless. Not be, not be, not be, don't just start sleeping. Not be careless. Not be lazy. No laziness in Christians. As we suppose, as we are children of God, no laziness. Laziness must be behind us. No laziness. We have to be awake spiritually. Spiritually, by the grace of God, God is my prayer. God will give all of us the grace to be at work. Because if you are not awake, something start happening. Something start destroying. You see that destruction start coming. Calamity start coming. That will not be your portion. That will not be my portion. That will not be your portion. It will not be my portion. We have to watch. We have to watch, beloved. You and I must have been cautious against pit falls. If you if you if you are one of them that came, that, that comes from Africa, I came from Africa. One in my in my country there, many potholes on the road. But when you are driving, if you are not if you are a driver, you are driving. You must be cautious. Otherwise, if you don't, if you are not before you know nothing before you know what is going on, your car. Is inside that portal. You and I, we must watch against pitfalls for us not to fall. God will not let us fall. God will hold us and uphold us with his mighty, mighty righteous hand. For you and I not to fall in the trap of the enemy. The pit that he had, he had, he has, he has dug. Him and his agent, they will fall inside there in Jesus' name. We have to pray. We have to watch. Watchfulness is needed in Christian's life. Any Christian, any soldier of God, watchfulness is needed. It's a necessity. It's very necessary for you and I to be watchful. Watchful in prayer. Watchful in prayer for your family, for your church, for your for your church member, for the body of Christ. Let's watch. Let's watch. Watch. God will give us that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Unpreparedness is not, not unpreparedness, not unvigilant is dead to prayer. If you, are not, if you are not prepared to be praying, you are not prepared, you are not vigilant in prayer. Ah, God will not let us. God will not let us be. It's, it's just like, I don't know how to explain it by the grace. I don't know how to explain it when you, like, like um, you're not praying. You are not praying. You are not watching. But you think, as you are not doing what you're supposed to do spiritually, you think things will work out good? Do you think you speak, things will work out good? No. You have to pray. As our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of laws, the King of kings, if he can pray, if he can fast, if he can watch, 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 watch over his, over, over around him. Everything that he, he does, the time he was here, he watched, he watched, he watched, he was watchful, prayerful. He was prayerful, he was watchful. So you are now, as his children, we have to watch, we have to pray. We have to be vigilant. self guide in prayer. Beloved, self guide in prayer. Please. Let us stand up and do it for ourselves.
Because as soon you you start praying, you start putting things in order. Spiritually, things are start happening. Good thing, good things are start happening. Before you know, it comes to reality. It's everything that you've seen on happening here. It has already been. There was everything that has, has already taken place in the spiritual realm. We bless the name of the Lord. His word, His mighty, His excellent. I pray God will give us that grace to be vigilant. God will give us that grace to be watchful. For us to be watchful, for us to be vigilant, for us to pray, beloved, we must we must give ourselves to unsleeping, unsleeping watchful and the unceasing prayer. We, you and I, we must give ourselves on, to unsleeping and the watchfulness, unsleeping and watchfulness and unceasing prayer no as the word of the lord says in the word of the lord says in the in the in the, in the, in the first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 the word of the lord says he said pray without ceasing pray without ceasing the enemy the enemy of your soul the enemy of my soul if first if first if first peter chapter 5 verse 8 in first Peter chapter 5, verse 8, the enemy of our soul is, is that be, be sober, as the word of the Lord said, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, the devil is your adversary, he hates you. If you don't know, you better know today, he hates you more than you can even think of. If you are one of them out there, you think that the devil loves you, you are walking, you are agent of Satan. Please hear the word of the Lord. The devil hates you. Hate you is your ad, is the adversary of your soul. He hates you. Don't work with. Don't work for him. Don't work for him. Reject him. Accept Lord Jesus Christ. Please accept him. Don't listen to his offer. He doesn't have anything good to offer you. He can offer you anything you think. Maybe house. You have your house or you have your car or you have money right now. But if you die, you're taking those things along. So when you die, you close your eye. So where are you going to go? Where he is, he's in a hellfire. It's where you will go. Don't let him be fooling you. Don't let him pray, promise you, uh, promise you heaven and earth that he will give it to you. He's giving you hellfire because hellfire is, is there in hellfire. It's what he will give to you. It's not in heaven. So how do you think uh, he's offering you really something here? When he is in heaven, he cannot, he, sorry, when he is in hellfire, he cannot get to heaven. Please, Open your eyes, open your ears, open your heart to receive this word. The Satan that cannot enter the heaven, you are following him, you are working for him. So when you finish on this, where are you going to go? Where he is in the hellfire, is there you will go. Try to understand it. Don't follow him. Reject him. Reject every offer that is offering you, because there is nothing good for him. That is not. There is nothing good in him. He's a, he's a, he's a lie. He's a destroyer. He just wants to destroy you. He just wants to destroy your destiny. He just wants to destroy your soul. Because when, there is, when the soul enters into hell fire, there is no return anymore. You will not see your maker, not at all. You will not see him one day. No, you will not see him. All you can see is the devil and his demons. Huh? Please don't oh, they give all those offers. If you are if you're somebody, you you are on, on uh, you, you are in the awkward. Please give it up. Jesus, give it up. Jesus died for you. Did Jesus die for you? Please stop it. Renounce the Satan. Renounce everything that belongs to you. If you are in our quarter or you are, you, you are a witch, ask God to take that spirit of witch away from you. Or wizard, free witch. Or Let ask God to deliver you. He will. He is the one that creates you. Is the enemy is the one that destroying that bringing evil? Don't accept him, reject him. if you have already accepted him. Tell him, I don't want you anymore. Follow Jesus, follow Jesus. When you follow Jesus, you have peace. When you finish on this, said you will go and meet him in heaven. Satan is not in heaven, Satan is in the hell fire. Anything that is offering you for you to just to get a quick reach on this earth. You get a picture. If you die, what are you taking those riches along? Are you taking those things along? Just try to think about it. 
Try to think about it. If I die now, this offer that Satan is offering, if I, or if I took it now, then I die. Where, where am I going to end my life? Where am I going to, 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 to spend my eternity? Because it's real. Time it is real. Heaven is real. Hell fire is real. Anything, anyone that following that said they think God, one day, when I finish on this, I will meet God. You are lying. You are joking. You have to follow God here on this earth now. When you die, when you die, you will go to, when you die, you will go to your father, almighty God. But if you don't love him here, when you die, is it that time you will love him? You have to show the love that you love him here. And when you die, we accept you as his, as his child. Please, if you have anything doing with occult or doing with all those, or any, anything belong to anything belong to Satan, reject it. Please. God loves you. God wants you to, he want, he want to see you one day and he wants you to spend eternity with him. He loves you. He don't want you to die in your sin. He don't want you to die where the enemy of your soul is. Please, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Savior. Turn away from your sinful way. Repent. Change your mindset. Call upon Jesus. He will answer you. He's the God that hear a prayer. He's the God of mercy. He delights in mercy. Call upon him. As the word of the Lord says here, we are seeing we are seeing reading. The word of the Lord in First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a rolling lion, walking, walking about seeking whom he may devour. He's not sleeping. He's not sleeping. He's awake. He's alert. It's because of that you and I, we should, not, we should not sleep. Let us open our eye wide. Watch in prayer. Watch and pray in prayer. That ye, you and I, will not enter into temptation. Because if you don't pray, and if you don't pray, you don't watch, you don't pray. You don't know what the enemy has for you. You don't know anything that the enemy has for somebody. is just destruction. Calamity. He doesn't have anything good for you. If he's telling you, he will give you the, he will take, he will take, uh, if he's giving you one thing, he will take at least three to four away from you. Please. He's a deceiver. The enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul is a deceiver. Let us watch and pray for us not to enter into temptations. Please. Watch before ye, for ye know not at what hour your Lord does come. You and I don't know the day our Lord Jesus Christ is come. Many of you, you can say, uh, I'll be he hearing uh, Jesus Christ coming, Jesus Christ coming. Yes. But do you know anyone that closes uh, eye for, uh, eyes and that closing eye in death? You are, your, 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 your Lord Jesus Christ has come for you. <laughs> There's no way to amend anymore. If you have already known, if you are not amend your way before you close your eye in death, there's no other way for you to amend your, your uh, amend anything anymore. Then it's too it's too over. It's because of that, you and us, the soldiers of the Lord, we have to watch. We have to pray because we don't know that day our Lord is coming. We don't know that day that rapture will happen. If the rapture happen, it is my prayer. All of us will go with Him. But if the one that will remain is terrible, God will not let us remain. God will not be. God will not let us be be left behind because hmm, it, 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 I I don't know. God will not let us. Hmm? I don't even want to think about it. God will not let us be left. He will not leave us behind. Let us watch, and let us pray. Let us watch and let us pray. Please, beloved. Please, that um, that that made the order always uh, to pray. Watch uh, before ye, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein uh, the Son of Man cometh. You and I, we don't know the day, we don't know the hour that our Lord Almighty God is coming. We have to watch. Like in the, let us go to the book of praise, Master Jesus, Hallelujah, to the Lamb of God, the book of Ephesians. 
chapter, the, the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. I read in Jesus' name. Wherefore, they take unto the you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the end of the evil day, and they have it done all to stand. You see, the word of the Lord is still warning you and me. Warning you, warning me. For us to wear the whole armor. How do you wear the whole armor? Prayer, watching, praying, wearing the whole armor of protection for the enemy not to able to harm you. The, the, the enemy, the evil ones, not to able to harm you because you don't know the day of the evil one. You don't know the day. It's only God that knows the day of the evil ones. We don't know it's because of that we have to put on the whole armor of God every day. We have to, beloved. We have to. We have to do that one. God will give us the grace to do it in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless the name of the Lord. You know, as we are praying, God always answers us. God that answered prayer. God that hear his children prayer. We bless the name of the Lord for his answering our prayer. Every time we call upon him, he will answer. You know, Sister Anna prayed. Sister Anna prayed, God answer her and bless her with a prophet. Prophet eh, Samuel. He prayed. And Sister Anna prayed in the first Samuel chapter 1, verse 20, 27. For, for this a child, I pray, and the Lord has given me my petition, which I ask of him. You see, the Lord Almighty is not a respectable person. As you, you and I, we are watching, we are praying, he will answer us. As he answered Sister Anna here, he gave, he gave, he, he, Father Lord Jesus Christ, gave, Father God gave uh, Anna answer, Anna answer. Prayer and the Lord answer her and bless her with prophet, prophet, uh, prophet, prophet, prophet uh, Samuel. You know, Gideon prayed. You know, Gideon prayed. Praise Master Jesus. Gideon prayed. As uh, Gideon prayed, Gideon, Gideon prayed, and God answered Gideon. In John, John chapter six, verse thirty six. 39, sorry, 39. And uh, Gideon said unto God, let not, uh, let not that uh, thy anger be in the heart uh, against me, and uh, I will not uh, speak about uh, this uh, once. Let, uh, let me prove, uh, I pray thee, that uh, this uh, once uh, which is uh, there, please uh, let it uh, now be uh, dried only upon uh, their fleece, and uh, upon all uh, the ground, uh, let there be to you. So it's uh, 40. 40 said, and the God did so that night, for it was dry upon the freeze, or only, and there was a dew on all the ground. Praise Master Jesus. We serve the God that answered a prayer. You see, he answered the Gideon. God that answered Gideon, he will answer you in Jesus' name. Go answer Jehoshaphat. Go answer, go answer Jehoshaphat. In 2 Chronicles chapter 18, verse 30. 31. Go answer Jehoshaphat. Let me read this. He said, and it came to pass when the cartes of the, the chariot saw Jehoshaphat that they said, It is the king of Israel. Therefore, they compassed about him to fight. But Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped him, and God moved them to depart from him. God answered Jehoshaphat. God that answered Jehoshaphat, we answer you in Jesus' name. Let us pray, let us believe, let us watch out. God will answer us. As the word of the Lord said, the earlier, the earlier church, the earlier church, they prayed, they prayed in one accord. They prayed in one accord. In Acts chapter 4, verse 3, in verse 31. And when they had prayed, their place were shaken. Where they were there assembled together, and the day they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and the day they speak the word of God with boldness. You see, when you are praying, you have the boldness of God. God will empower you with His boldness to speak His word out there, to speak without no fear, to stand firm in the word of the Lord. I said, This is what my father God said. This is the word of the Lord. I will stand to the end. Nothing can take me out of it. In the name of Jesus Christ, God answered a prayer. Don't always answer your prayer, answer my prayer. Look at God, in, oh, answer the king, king, uh, king uh, Solomon. God answer King Solomon when King Solomon prayed. In 1 Kings chapter 9, verse, verse 3. 
And uh, the Lord uh, said unto him, I have uh, heard uh, thy prayer and uh, thy supplication that uh, thou hast uh, made uh, before me. I have uh, hallowed uh, this uh, house which uh, thou hast uh, built uh, to put my name uh, there forever. And uh, my eyes and uh, my heart shall uh, be there perpetually. Hallelujah. And the, and the eyes of the Lord will be upon you, will be upon me perpetually in the name of Jesus. We are praying as we are watching, watching over our family, praying and watching over our family spiritually. We are just praying as we are praying, oh God, Almighty God, keeping us, keeping us alive, keeping the enemy to put, uh, keeping an enemy away, putting them away, put them in chain, and chain, chaining them, not to able to harm you, not to able to harm me. Let us, uh, let us involve in prayer. We should not neglect it. We should not afford to miss it. Every day before you leave your house, have your devotion with your Lord Jesus Christ. Talk to him before you leave him because you don't know what is out there. It's only God that knows it. But when you pray, God can cancel everything of the enemy, neutralize his plans in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, beloved, let us be sober. Let us be sober. So that this Christian race, we will not we will not run it in vain in Jesus' name. God will see all true in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you with the I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is my prayer. God will give you and I the grace to carry on to the end. We will not be tired. We will not be tired because God is with us. All the host of heaven is with us. They are fighting our battle for us. We had to just open our mouth and pray. Then they have a, they have a something to move on. Because if you don't give them what to pray, what to move on, they will not move. In your angels are your angels stand there waiting for the for the, his hand or her hand. They're waiting for you to say something so that he can move and work for you and do the work. You want him, you, know, you want the angels of the Lord to do for you. It's because of that is there, your Kaja angel. Your, they, we, they, are, they are here for us to want to, to help us. We have to pray. Because if you don't pray, there's nothing that can, they can do. We have to open our mouth and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God on highest. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Please, if you are there, you are you have already, you don't have Jesus Christ in your heart. You have not accept Jesus Christ. Maybe you born in this, you born in all that religion. Please, please, that religion will not get you. It will not get you salvation. It's only Jesus. It's only by Lord Jesus Christ you can get salvation. It's only by Lord Jesus Christ you can see good Father God because He is the one that paid the price for you. For praise the price for me. He died on the third day. He rose up for you and for me. He lived it. He's waiting for all his children. Because he said, all souls are mine. The souls of the son and the father belong to him. But the soul that sin shall die. But if you don't know God, you are dead already spiritually. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you don't accept him as your Lord. You are condemned already. Because unless only Jesus. Because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way you can come to the Father except by him, almighty God. Or he is the, he is the one that will give you salvation. Lord Jesus Christ the one that paid for you. You cannot get it with your own strength. In Jesus, all those ones that they are telling you, uh, I'm sorry you are born in that, those, in those uh, religion, but they will not, that religion will not get you to heaven. Please, please, pray this prayer. After me, accept in the Lord almighty God. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Savior. Then you are saved. Then you are a child of God. You will look for a Bible church that they will teach you the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray you will grow in Jesus' name gradually. In Jesus' name, let us, let us pray in Jesus' name. Dear Father, dear Father, dear God, I am a sinner. I need forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ has shared his precious blood and has died for me. I am willing to turn from sin. I now invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart as my personal savior in jesus name amen may the lord bless you may the lord bless you look for the bible church it is by prayer god will lead you god will lead you to a bible church please if they are telling you they are preaching to you the undiluted word of god please just listen please do what they are saying to you if they are telling you take off jewelries take off the makeup take off this take off this just do it please it's for your good it's for your good Beloved, for your good, it will do you good. On that day, when you are rejoicing in heaven, you will thank that person that, uh, that preached on the Lord's word of God to you. Not the one that preaching uh, those uh, counterfeit preachers, those fake preachers that are just looking for in their belly lying to children of God. God will deliver his children from their hands in Jesus' name. 
Uh, Vecho Sume, God bless you all. God bless you all. I love you all with the love of God. All the Vecho Sume worldwide. I love you all, daughters of Zion. Please, <laughs> we should not be tired. <laughs> we should not be tired. We should not worry. One day we will get there. One day we will get there. Say, oh Lord, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> We should not be tired. Let us stand up. Let us stand up for Jesus. Let us advertise Jesus. Let us be throwing the seed, telling them, telling the daughters of God, please, my sister, please, your trust. It trust this is not for women. I'm making up, or oh, it's not for you. You are making up. You are telling your God is a liar. And you are you, your hair, you are praying the presence of God. You are not covering, you are not honoring God. And you are penning your hair, putting relies on your hair. You are defying your hair, putting wig. You have defined your hair. Anything that you know that is not is not natural to your hair, that you are using it. The attachment, the weak the color, coloring in your hair, changing it to another color, you are defying your hair. If you die in those, if you die in that estate, if you die in those things, that sorry, that person is going to hair straight. Try to tell them, don't argue with them, just give them the sin. If they are arguing. Where is it in the Bible that I cannot make up? Where is it in the Bible I cannot wear trousers? You know, I pray God will give them that grace to, 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 to hear the word of the Lord, the voice of the Lord, not to argue. Because now they're arguing. God will not let them, let them land themselves in a hellfire. And then there's no chance to argue anymore. They cannot argue to no, nobody. Then, then, then it's too late. Then they start regretting. It will not be their portion. It will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Because of that, we have to go there. Even though they don't want to hear us, just give them the seed and leave them there. Leave the seed there. The seed will glow. Jesus loves you. I know you love Jesus. I can see you. You are you are really you are really in love with jesus but your dressing is not pleasing to your mighty if you die in these things all this your dress if you die like this you are going to have first straight just said the let them hear about her fire not just that you don't hear it, it, it then later say oh, you didn't i didn't hear about her fire there is her fire and there is heaven it's only heaven I'm, I'm hearing about tell them oh tell them if you die with all those property of the jezebel you are not going to make heaven God will give them the spirit to change in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord keep you. I love you with the love of God. Shalom, shalom, shalom.